I think the problem with talking about um, what the Yazidis went through and the, the scale of their suffering, the scale of the genocide, is that it's very hard to bring it alive. Um, you know, the, 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 the saying is always that, that, that one life is, you know, one life lost is a tragedy and that an entire people wiped out. Hard to get a handle on it. And I think that what that BR does brilliantly by kind of transporting you into the, the heart of what happened. It, it makes you understand the scale of it. It gives you a sense of the, the, the personal tragedy, the eyes of the girl, you know, that you, you, you're seeing what's happening. But at the same time, it's very effective at conveying the sense that this is a tragedy you know, for an entire people. So it was quite, uh, quite a good experience to see uh, exactly what they went through. The experience brings out is just the sense of home and the sense of, the, of what was lost and the sense of the people that really kind of it's an opportunity to connect to that really human level with the people who are most affected by this. Do you have any messages to the Yazidi community? Oh, that's a big one. <laughs> what do you say to a community that has been, you know, completely torn apart? Um, oh gosh, so I, I don't really, I don't even know where to begin. <laughs> uh, hopefully things like this, advocacy, um, and just people trying and working to spread the word and um, gain traction can, you know, we can't undo what was done, but hopefully we can gain justice and we can make sure that the people that did this were persecuted and we as a society can learn to not let this kind of stuff continue to happen in the future. Those of us who have, have seen the scale of your sufferings and the horrors inflicted on you will, we will never forget you. Uh, but it is also um, a constant source of anguish that um, that your fate is not remembered as it probably should be by everybody else in the world. Um, and in so far as I can, in so far as other people I know can, um, you know, we will do our absolute best to keep the, the flame of what happened to you and of your sufferings um, alive. And a thank you to those who participated in this. And I guess that would be my strongest message, which is thank you to those who participated in this, who shared their stories, um, and uh, who are giving us the opportunity to engage with their experience in such a personal and intimate way. It's, it's a hugely powerful and important thing. As a historian, it's an incredible artifact to have, um, to have documented the historical record and I hope that soon rather than later the international community will come together to recognise what's happened to them as a genocide and to coordinate much better and more effective responses uh, to deliver some form of justice however inadequate it's going to be for what they've suffered.